I'm an underground artist, yes. But if you guys want to know my dream that I told left mine and some of the ROTB boys is just so that this is I'm saying it into action, speaking it into action. Manifest it, say it. Manifesting it. I one day I'm going to win a Grammy. Hey, 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 uh. Welcome back to Views Podcast. You're with me, Nick Soriano, and Young Tao Fu, with our special guest, Son the Wordsmith. Love it, man. <laughs> they always give me food, bro. I love them, dude. Uh, I mean, like, in the podcast, you're just gonna see us eat uh, most of the time. Well, they're gonna eat. Yeah. I ate. <laughs> okay, uh, Son, introduce yourself. Um, <laughs> why Son the Wordsmith? How long you've been doing music? And just tell us more about yourself, bro. Okay. And, like, are you working outside? You know, are you doing full time music? You wanna touch that one, one, one at a time? Oh yeah, for sure, bro. Okay, yeah. So, um, first of all, thanks, thank you guys for having me. I go by the name of Sun, aka the Wordsmith, and um, I'm a creative in the hip hop industry. Uh, That's one way to put it. I've been doing music for say maybe now eight years, I guess seven, eight years around there. Yeah, but fun fact, if you guys didn't know. I did a uh, acoustic m- music first. I was an acoustic musician. Acoustic, yeah. So you sing? Uh, I I tried to. At this place called a uh, Ten Square. Shout out Ten Square. What's up, Ten Square? Yeah, and uh, they were amazing people that brought me in to the music. And then uh, I was already freestyling then, and I realized, you know what? Let me just do hip hop. And I'm like, yeah, you know well, what? What made you decide to like? Okay, I'm gonna rap. I don't know, I guess uh, throughout the whole journey of uh, music, especially in the beginning, even before I began doing hip hop, right? Uh, it, it made me think like, yo, what I'm doing now with acoustic music, it didn't really help bring out the things I wanted to say outside of music. And I realized that with hip hop, right? You're able to just be your own person. In hip hop, you know, so you can express yourself. Yeah, I feel like I express better in hip hop. Yeah, definitely, I I can uh, tap into all these areas in my mind, and I can fully utilize them into my hip hop music. Yeah. What was the biggest inspiration you had, like when you just got to rapping? My biggest inspiration. Yeah. I don't know, man. I guess uh, if I had to answer that, right? I guess it would be. Um, similar to why I am doing music, like the answers uh, are the same, All right. which is uh, I'm able to say things that I cannot put into a conversation. Mm. Yeah, and that's important to me. I guess that's why I'm still doing music because uh, let's say I'm having a conversation with you, right? Yes, sir. And you know, as a man, I don't want to show you that I am vulnerable, especially with the homies, you know, because all of them are G's like that, and I mean, all of them are like, Pursuing this career where you gotta be, yeah, you gotta be yeah, tough. You gotta be you right. To you gotta be tough. Front. You gotta be yeah. like at your hundred percent all the time. Alpha, eh? yeah, yeah, man, yeah. yeah. No, that's a new one. It's called Sigma. Oh, Sigma. Oh, you have to be stoic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta be valiant, you know. Yeah, man? yeah. Mm, yeah. Christian and, uh, Bale's a man, you know. Mm, yeah, <laughs> at least uh, that's what I I thought lah. Okay. And uh, if in a conversation I cannot tell you like, yo, bro, I'm feeling kind of down, man. I'm feeling kind of off these days. I mean, I can tell you that, but I can't go deeper into that area. Mm. You know, at least that's what I think. Right. So I put all of that in my music up until now. So it's like a therapy, yeah, basically. In a way, yes. Mm. In a way. So well, all I of mean, my... Sorry, man, but like, what kind of friends have you been growing up with that you cannot you know, express your emotions? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Let, me, let, me, let me just... Uh, let me just... Because uh, like, you can always come and talk to there. me, bro. Ah. Yeah, bro. The studio's open, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we give you nuggets, bro. No, no, no. Tell no, us about your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I love all my homies, man. I love all of them. I, I talk to them about other things. Most of the things. It's just that, you know, in, in Japanese uh, culture, right. or in, the Japanese believe that everyone has three faces or three masks. I know what you're talking you, about. You yeah. know that one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, so, on ahead, go on ahead. Yeah, the first one is the one that you put out like in general, in public. Mm, yeah. The second one is the one that you show amongst close friends. But the third one, the one that only you know of at home, that is the one that I'm talking about. Mm. The ones that I cannot just, yeah. it feels yeah. hard, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah and it's, it's like that, man. But bro, I, I love all my homies, man. All of them to death. I, I've been with them for a long time. 
especially the close ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I've I known you all for like years already, I think. Yeah. You know? So yeah, yeah I, I'm okay with y'all. I love y'all. It's just that there are some things that I really find it difficult to put into conversation. Yeah, I understand. Like yeah. Everybody have their own things that we don't share. Yeah. 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 You know? I mean, we all have. Yeah, yeah we all like do. Skeletons yeah. in the closet kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. And also, like, I think I agree with you on like being a man in this day and age. It's really hard for us to just kind of like, hey, bro, I'm feeling some kind of way. Can you like, you know, sit down and talk to me? Because then you kind of come off as like being vulnerable and like mm. prone to attacks, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and plus, like you know, the rap culture, like this culture, sometimes it's just gonna eat you alive, right? Yeah, man. Like you never know who's gonna turn their back against you. Like if you open up to somebody, and then they, one day you get into like a freestyle battle kind of thing. Boom, they're gonna, material. They're gonna bring it out as material. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? So that's that's, that's the right. Fucking, yeah, that's right. That's a toxic thing. That's mm-hmm. very true, man. Yeah. Nick, that's very true, dude. Yeah, and then like at the yeah. end of the day, it's like, sorry, bro, it's all just like freestyle. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Like I was being, I was being real with you, bro. Like yeah. that mm-hmm. kind of. Like, that hurts, man. That hurts my feelings, man. <laughs> that <guy's here. laughs> but that, that's one of the things yeah. that I thought about. Right. You know, because uh, amongst my my circle, right, the, right. the homies that I'm with, or anyone that I freestyle with, they always think like, yo, son is going to murder all of us. You know, son is going to uh, go hard into a freestyle. I'm like, yeah, but isn't isn't this like for fun? Isn't this yeah. like mm-hmm. we're just chilling? Yeah. I mean, to me, freestyling is like a, a way to express. Right. Just to, it, it's a way for you to lift up all of the weight or some of the weight that you have, yeah. at least for me, that's what freestyling is to me. Right. But with what you said, right? Some of them be like, okay, you know what? Yo, I'm about to tell you about the day that you were crying in front of my face. And I'm like, fuck bro, yeah. what? <laughs> ah, dude, come on, man. And I don't, I don't want that in a, you know, like in, in, a, set, in a setting where you can use anything to attack your opponent. Mm-hmm. I mean, in a way, it is like part of uh, the rap culture that right. we are we're in. Right. But... Yeah, man, it's, it's just like that. I'm sure a lot of the rappers outside now, they know some of the things that I've, I've done like when what? I'm amongst them. Like what? <laughs> that uh, <laughs> could be used. I mean, it's just a lot of uh, vulnerability involved, yeah. And uh, I, I can imagine like one of these days, if I have to go into a battle with them, right? right. Yeah. They'll be like, yo, I know some shit you went through. I'm a homie, but I'm a... I'm a dicey what right now, man. Yeah. You know that kind of thing. But you're son with me, bro. Yeah, you're you can dice you, them man. back, bro. Nah, you know, aside my <laughs> looks, I think I'm a big teddy bear, bro. You are. For real, man. Bro. I think I'm pretty nice. Mm-hmm. For real, man. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't you guys think Just so? Just feed this teddy bear. That's, that's, right, that's right, 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 right. I think you're tough as shit, bro. I do not want to fuck around with you. Bro, man. come on, man. Don't I do mean, that to me, bro. This guy lives, what, 170? 170 no, kilos, two, bro. 210. 210. 210 on max rep. Yeah. No, 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 no. That was, that was my PR, PR a while back. That's still PR, it's still, bro. It's still. It's still. Zai, dude. so humble. This is son, the humble smith. <laughs> 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 right, okay. So then yeah, we were talking about how you got on to like rap and then like, uh, yeah. uh, you know, what, like you use it to express yourself, right? You use it as a form of therapy. <laughs> yeah. To, um, as a diary, I guess. Is it a diary? To you? Do you think it's a diary? Um, not really. It's just... Uh, so, okay. Out of all the songs that I have up till now, right? Mm. <laughs> These are actually things that I went through. And in the songs, uh, it was during the times where I really found it difficult to bring it out. Mm. And most of the songs that I have up now on Spotify are songs uh, that really just... When I started writing the first word, it just happened to finish everything. Mm. And these are the kind of songs where I really cannot say, like, okay, this is uh, just what I feel. It was purely like everything I felt in one moment. You know, does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, no, like I, because I specifically like the way Sun writes his lyrics. Like I was listening to one of your songs, uh, something about uh, patient and patience and healing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Can you say that line? Yeah, it's a uh, patient. Oh, I'm impatient, but I'm patient. That, that yeah. line, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I forgot my lyrics. Yeah, it was something <laughs> about was, like, something like I've been patient, but patience oh, know, takes time to heal, or something like I've that. I've been right? patient, but this patience takes time to heal, though. But I'm wait- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's like there's this wordplay. He's not just like like any other rapper who's like just rapping for the sake of rhyming. You know, there's like wordplay in it, and uh, it's the beauty of English. To me, that's like is so versatile in oh. a way you can explore different Nick, ways. Sorry, now I remember. It was uh, 
I've been patient, but this patient still trying to heal though. Like face it, what I'm pacing, every step real slow, but I got to feel right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You see that? You see yeah. that? I think you for the for those who don't, who don't know, uh, that is from San's latest EP. Yes. yes. Three songs. That's right, three songs. You, you can tell them more yeah, about talk, it. Talk, yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell, tell them about it, bro. I released something recently. It's called uh, I Got a Big Heart, I Promise. Um, what else is big though? That's for you. That's for you to know off the cameras there. <laughs> but yeah, right. I got a three-track EP out recently, uh, and this song, these three songs, are songs that I thought about over and over again. I was thinking about whether I should actually release this because uh, these three songs mean a lot to me, especially counting my days. And I, to be honest with y'all, when I wrote counting my days. Mm. I couldn't finish everything at one go. It took me like uh, a while to finish everything. I wrote like the first half in a bit, then I stopped. I wrote the second half in a bit, then I stopped. It was so overwhelming for me to finish counting my days. Why was it? Is it because like there was a lot of emotions in it? Yeah, a lot of a lot of emotions in the song. This is the last track, right? That's the last track, yeah. yes. And uh, a lot of meaning behind the songs. I was in a bad place. It felt like uh, everything was against me. But you can feel and, uh, the emotions in that song. I, that's the song that you got into. Yeah, that's the song that you like. You know, that Shukri was playing in the studio. We were feeling it and shit. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, if you don't mind, there was this verse that I really, I really felt very connected to. Even until now, I mean, the whole song. But the verse when uh, too connected to my thoughts, feeling everything I don't want, scared of whatever I might hit when I'm really trying to figure it all out. I'm loving the people that I love, but it might be too much for day months. But I never want to change myself again to somebody that they like. Bro, I. Look at that flow, bro. Look at that flow. <laughs> he's, he's just like. What a natural. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, break it down, break That's it down. What do you mean? Yeah. Rap genius time. <laughs> 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 yeah, too, 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 too. too connected to my thoughts, feeling everything I don't want. It just means. Uh, I'm very, I'm very emotionally aware of how I feel, what I feel at any point of time, all right. And this deep connection with my emotions sometimes can be my downfall because I start to think a lot more than I should. So it's uh, too connected to my thoughts, feeling everything I don't want, scared of whatever I might hit when I'm really trying to figure it all out. It just means that I'm afraid of what's figure to come. Figure what you might hit. Yeah. What was that? What does that mean? Scared of whatever I might hit when I'm really trying to. So. You know, life is full of uncertainties. Right. And um, for me, I feel like I have very a, a small amount of certainties that I am very assured of. And despite that, we all know that life is full of uncertainties. So I'm very afraid of what I might go up against while I'm really just trying to go all out in this in this industry and in what I what I really want to do. Right. You know, so it's a. Uh, too connected to my thoughts, feeling everything I don't want, scared of whatever I might hate when I'm really trying to figure it all out. All of that together is how I feel almost, I would say, every other day or every day, every night. Because I'm very, I'm, I'm very aware of where I am and where I want to go at the end. That it just made me so emotional most of the time. Yeah, after that, after the line, it's a... Uh, I'm loving the people that I love, but it might be too much for their minds. But I never want to change myself again to somebody that yeah, they, they like. like. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, yo, I'm very happy that I'm get I get to share this with y'all, man. Yeah, so, man, come on, man. Yeah. yeah uh, I love the people that I love. Yeah. That's a fact. Everyone that I meet, everyone that has uh, made an impact in my life, I love everyone because without them, I wouldn't be yeah. here today. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh, but. Sometimes I feel like this is something that I don't really share that often. Mm. I feel like if I'm truly myself, I might make these people go away. Right. Mm. That's why uh, it might be too much for the the guys. With is it me. like you're afraid that they know that your your true self? Yeah. They, yes. they just start to like you know, like yeah. Well, that's exactly so what I mean. In, you know? in a way, do you do you feel like all this time you've been putting up a front in front of them? I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Okay. I think yeah. it's the third mask. Is that's why you yeah, say it's the, it's the third mask. You yeah. should reveal. Reveal yeah. third mask. Yeah. Then people wouldn't like with you. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's. Yeah. <laughs> that's basically uh, Basically yeah, the, the summary, whole, right? Yeah. The summary is the mask, lah. Is that the the Japanese and, uh, mask? I'm, I love them, but it might be too much. But then again, I don't want to change who I am. Yeah. I don't want to change who I am, just to be somebody that they like, which is the last two lines. Yeah. Uh and. 
it keeps getting to me, bro. Every single time I listen to the track, it it gets me thinking. You know, there's a plethora of reasons why I could be me, mm. but there's also a lot of reasons why I shouldn't. Right. Yeah, right. and it's it's like that, lah. I mean, I I think when you say that, a lot of people watching this or listening to this can relate as well, because mm-hmm. like even I think me and Rio can relate. Yeah, you know, there are there are different versions of us mm-hmm. that we uh, portray portray mm. yeah. depending on who we are with, right? Like for me, for example, I'm a code switcher. So by that, what I mean is, depending on the environment that I'm in, I switch to that person best fit for that situation. So like, let's say if I am in a business meeting, right, mm-hmm. and I'm in a table full of like like uh, people who you know are from overseas and like they speak a certain kind of English mm. then I'll bring out this accent right like this kind of accent just to match whatever's going on in that table because I believe in right communication <laughs> to get my message across but then like if we are in this setting like me and Rio just like yeah bro <laughs> he's just like auto switch bro, he, out he of the way up like bahasa that, ni comes out <laughs> yeah. or Malay ni comes out you know <laughs> yeah so so I think I relate to you in, yeah. in that sense where it's always like there's a certain pressure that you your brain kind of activates yeah. depending on who you're with right? yeah it's, it's subconscious you know it just appears it's just like you just put out front of nowhere yeah. you know yeah. yeah i can't say it's a facade no it's not yeah, a facade, it's, not a facade. Yeah. it's just like it's just your brain automatically switch yeah. to whoever you are in the environment yeah. you know yeah. because yeah. Like, i think it's it's in human nature to just want to fit in no matter where yeah, you bro. are right and be accepted and welcomed and loved yeah. mm. so that third mask that you mentioned earlier about like your true self kind of thing mm. like i don't think anyone else except rio and like a select few of other my friends have seen my true self which is like really chaotic and mm-hmm. and really like to run my mouth and he's seen me through it all <laughs> yeah. i think almost 10 years bro. almost almost yeah. a decade bro <laughs> <laughs> uh, tr- trust me like back then my temper was hella bad and i just ran my mouth and just like a lot of people started to hate me mm-hmm. and then rio was like bro you gotta start thinking about your shit bro and i'm like yeah. okay oh damn <laughs> you know funny enough right i think there there were people that caught on uh i think it was during um uh kiki satina and harry's performance at uh esplanade yeah the esplanade indoor what was concourse, it yeah, that was in concourse the, area 2021 right yeah, esplanade yeah. Concourse. shout out to you guys love you guys too but uh outside when I was smoking with like most of them, Kiki and uh, Sue and Harry, the gang lah, basically, the gang lah, the mm. gang. Yeah, yeah. I was just there, and then I think Kiki came up to me and I was like, "Yo, son, you've been awfully like different." I'm like, "I saw that, like why?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Tado, you've been like away from people. Like you've been, what's the word for it? Uh, uh, Self isolate. Yeah, you've been isolating yourself from people. And I'm like." Yeah, is that like do you think it's been that obvious? And it's like, yeah, dude. Then Sue chimed in and was like, Yes, yes, son. You've been like like awkward. You've been socially awkward. And actually, right? That's why I am. Right. Yeah. I mean I, I love yeah. I love uh being with people. Yeah. I am very extroverted. But who I truly am is I just like being alone, um, isolating myself anywhere to feel comfortable. Right. Mm. Where I am like full of solace you know happy with mm. nothing to worry about but that is something that i uh cannot go to uh, that's somewhere i cannot go to because uh with singapore all these days right <laughs> yeah <laughs> you come on man that's you know right that's, that's not it uh, you know? so do you yeah. think being um introverted in this day and age especially in the industry we're in is a disadvantage uh it depends lah, dude, you know. Are you considered an introvert? Me? Yeah. You know the 16 personalities, the Web Merriam and all that, the INFJ, yeah. ENFJ. Nah, I, I, I don't know That's about like that. the you know number yours? one Tinder, Bumble, profiler. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know yours? Actually, yeah. Right. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. But do you think yours, okay, like, uh, honestly, do you think yourself ambivert, introvert, extrovert? I don't know. I think I'm an extroverted introvert. <laughs> <laughs> right. What? I'm so, an extroverted introvert. Okay. Ambivert, yeah. basically. Ambivert? Is that ambivert? No, no, no. He's not. Because he's, he's an extroverted introvert. So that means he's, he's a pervert. Pervert. Lul easy, lul easy bird. Whatever bird. Okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> okay, then. So that means, mm. right? He's an extroverted introvert, meaning his true self is introvert, right? Mm. But then when it comes to like in a social setting, you are the extrovert energy. Yeah. The first mask. <laughs> the what mask? The Japanese mask are the first the mask. First the mask. public mask right. is extrovert. Right. Yeah. yeah. But so. with that said, right, 
is it correct me if i'm wrong but do you have like a social battery that runs throughout the week yes and i'm realizing my social battery these days i think that's really important because i realized yeah. my battery limit like a long time ago you all have moved this way no dude i just don't like, <laughs> i just don't like crowds man yeah I mean, yo dude. dude i i'm with you bro, yeah for i don't real, like man. crowds man these days when yeah. i'm with crowds right i get so like Oh, dude, I want to go home now, Zach. Yeah, yeah. You know that, that kind of feeling? Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it, it just gets to yeah. me, dude. Yeah. I don't think it comes with age. I think it's just something everyone has naturally, but mm-hmm. they only realize what it is when they get older. Because mm. I feel like even like, think about when you were like in secondary school or like in poly, there are days where you just don't feel like talking to anyone. Yep. So yeah. that, that trait, right, is already in there. Mm. It's just a matter of like, okay, when do you realize it? Yeah. That's right. That's right. But funny, th- funny enough. Yeah. When I'm performing, right, it's different because uh, I think that's your fourth master. <laughs> <laughs> the persona, bro. The stitch. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the wordsmith. Because when I was at Ten Square, right? You remember Ten Square earlier? I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, it, it is a place where you can do um, acting, theater, uh, visual arts, which is drawing and all that, um, dancing, and also music. So we were exposed to these um, mm. different genres, right? And maybe because of all of that, the stage has become like home to me. Like it, second nature. Yeah, basically. second nature, yeah. yeah. And I get very comfortable easily on stage. Mm. And maybe that's why I feel better performing than at the studio, you know? And yeah, it, it's just different on stage with the crowds. So you are able to kind of, when you're on stage, you're kind of able to soak up the energy that's in that space. Yeah, man. That's, yeah. yeah. Like for me as well, like I used to be a dancer. So mm. like stage is also second nature to me. Like it's just it's it's one of those things where when you go on stage suddenly all your um anxieties, all your troubles just kind of go away yeah. because your mind has snapped into the place where you have to deliver and not yeah. fuck up. Right? And you know uh one thing I brought with me from 10 Square, right? Is that they said if you go on stage and if you don't leave sweaty that means you didn't give your all. Oh, no wonder you sweat all the time, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's giving his all right now, bro. He's sweating yeah, right man. now, bro. And then it has it has become like a like a thing for me. If I don't leave the stage sweaty, right? With like my shirt drenched all the way yeah. to my belly button. Yeah. That means Actually, I that's true. Uh, most of the time you perform, he's like sweat. He's the sweatiest among ROTB, bro. <laughs> like you like you want to dab on him, okay? Nice man, okay. Then you, you don't want to you know, like dab him, you know. Yeah, you man, I, I concur, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what what I try to do, like, what I aim for. Right. At mm. least only the t-shirt is wet, yeah. We, we we never know. <laughs> Speaking of ROTB, yeah. so Sun is part of um ROTB. Yes, it's sir. ROTB. And also Left Mind. Left Mind. Yes, yes sir. sir. So um, you want to tell us more about ROTB? Oh yeah. So uh, first of all, right? Uh, ROTB is an abbreviation for some words that I might not be able to say now. I know it's but ROTB. Rio Orang Terbaik. <sighs> <laughs> so anyways no, right, no. <laughs> Imagine that <they're laughs> <laughs> Yeah so uh, ROTB There are a bunch of uh, Talented people That are In the in the beginning I was just talking to Bobby Slick Bobby Shout out to Bobby uh, About a, a group of people Where I could do Boom bap with And that was where Ninja Kura came And Ninja Kura had Kama Sonic Ghost and myself And I I need ask Bobby for some help lah to tell me like some of the talented people that I could work with to produce this boom bap track. Then afterwards, Bobby was like, "Yo, why not let's just pull more homies in and then make something amazing?" Wait, so you and Bobby founded ROTV? Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I, didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't, know that, I didn't know that. Oh my god! Yeah. So back then, when we first knew Sun, when uh, we were in our office at Woodlands, yeah, uh, Mega Woodlands. When Hairi was mixing Sun, we was like, who is this guy or his son? I think that was the start of ROTV then. Uh, 2018-ish? Uh, yeah, uh, 2018 around there. Around nah, there. 20, 20, 2019. Mega Wolens was 2018. 2018, Shukri. Mega Wolens was 20, 2019. 2019, yeah. 2019, yeah, 2019 yeah. then. But in the beginning of ROTB, I was, uh, I was like a phantom, you know? And they know. The ROTB guys know. Because I'm there, but I'm not there. And uh, even the, the first meeting of ROTB, right? At this coffee shop at Bukit Batu, it was all them, but I wasn't even there. Dude. Mm. Yeah. Why yeah. is that though? I don't know, because what? uh. He's too <laughs> cool, uh. No <laughs> la, dude. Holographic. Oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> he was working up words on the anvil, bro. Yes. Wordsmith, bro. 
<laughs> Turning out and all like, mm, yeah. yeah, these guys don't know me. Like that. <laughs> yeah, these guys don't know me. Fuck them, <laughs> fuck them all, but I love them. <laughs> uh, so, so it's because of uh, at that point of time, I was uh, still struggling with my own identity, but I still love the idea of being a part of a, a collective, like a group mm. of people, you know. But I was just awfully confused between the two. Yeah, but eventually I worked it out and talked to them. And they were cool with it. A bunch of uh, lovely... Can, can I curse? Go ahead. We'll yeah. just bleep it out. A bunch of uh, lovely motherfuckers. And I, I love them to death. And um, that was ROTB. Eventually, we went to more studio sessions. Mm. Um, we even went to the old YTF studio. Yeah, yeah. Which, which one? We had a few. Yeah. <laughs> we had we moved from Mega, Mega, Bukit Bato. Bukit Bato. No, Bukit Bato. Bukit Bato. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were at Bukit Bato. The camp. ROTB camp. Is ROTB it? camp. Yeah, yes, we had a camp. Yeah. You know, and uh, things started lining up, and uh, yeah, it was just a, a bunch of um, people that had the same vision. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's like that. Uh, so far, ROTB is cooking something. Cool, cool. Might Wait, be so so ROTB started with you and Bobby, and how many how many people is that in ROTB now? Uh, okay, so you remember I told you guys about the Ninja Kura track? Yes. Yep. So Kama, me, and Sonic. Join Bobby, then we all invited a few more guys, or we had like a, like a yo, who should we invite? That kind of thing, and we all just randomly uh, picked out a few like people that we think could, excuse me, could work together, and um, we had Zaf included, uh, and then we had Dre we, that pulled Nick, I think, mm. and then Akitet and Elmi. Oh, I haven't I haven't heard from Akita in the longest time. How is he? Yeah, the, the last time I heard he he injured his leg. Yeah, that was the last time I heard from him as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. So we initially started with uh, twelve members. Yeah. Now we have uh, nine, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there but are there are other producers that work with you guys, right? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Like, like the ROTB camp, like those who don't know, uh, they had a camp with other producers like um Hairi, um uh, Chris, 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 Low Key. Who else? Uh, I think there's a lot. Some more, there's some more. Um, a few lah, Sonic as well. Sonic, he yeah. Produce, uh, Fizz, I think. Fizz, yeah. yeah Fizz, and right. then uh, Shik Luna came through. Oh, Shik Luna <laughs> came through. <laughs> it was mad. That was mad. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. ROTB and then now Left Mind. Yeah. Right. Tell uh, us more about Left Mind. Like how you got into it. Yo. And like Left Mind, dude. These are G's, bro. For real. So, uh, just to not confuse you guys, okay. I'm still part of ROTB, <laughs> yeah. but I'm also with Left Mind as well. Left Mind Collective. Uh, They've been a big part of uh, my journey, my music journey. So mm. I met them thanks to you guys, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, what? I didn't know, man. Oh. Yeah. How, how, how did that go? How, how met, was it? I met uh, Left Mind through uh, Young Tofu, YTF, through uh, Fresh Off The Block. That's bro. what oh, I was that's waiting what? for. <laughs> oh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I was part of... Uh, yeah, you can say it. Yeah, 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 oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I talk for him first. <laughs> okay, please, please, <laughs> so please. fresh out of the blog, um, the first season where we had a competition structured, yeah. uh, structure. Uh, yeah, Sander Wordsmith was the first winner, and we one of the judges that came through was uh, none other than Rubin from Left Mind, yeah. and that's how they connect. As I think Rush Rubin. That, that fresh out of the blog, a lot of people connect though. Like Fizz, we connect Shoria. You connect with uh, uh, who Rubin and yeah. all. It was and that's the whole point of why we are doing this. Why Young Tao Fu is doing this. You know, we come up with uh, things like FOTB and like New Musical Learn and all these other stuff. We're pushing us just so that the entire ecosystem of the music industry in Singapore is like well connected. Right, we just want to expose grand. you guys and just like continue making the music because it's we're already so small. Right, this country is already no so small. Money. It's, what? Yeah, I say, what, what I, I say been, approve our grant. What, what have you been at living? Yeah, approve our grant. <laughs> it's like a subliminal message. Approve our grant. I was trying to hypnotize them. Like, hypnotize. Oh, my grand, right. Well, bro. yeah, you get it. Mm. And sponsorship. Come on. <laughs> get it. Get it in. So yeah, uh, you met Rubin at yeah. Fresh of the Block finale, and you came out the winner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that you. freeze out was dope. Yeah, the freestyle? Yeah. Oh, dude, I love the freestyle. The freestyle was dope. Yeah, I had to scrap that uh, freestyle challenge because the rest can't <laughs> No offense, no offense to the rest. You because it's, it's, a, it's a, yeah. Was it you that told me like, yo, son, you gotta chill a little bit? Yeah, bro, because <laughs> you were bad, bro. He keep snatching the mic from the other contestant and on and on. And he on wanted on. to win, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. He, he win. He really, he's already winning, bro. 
<laughs> well, yeah. But uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's just talk more about Rubin and how you connect with him after Fresh of the Block. Oh yeah. So uh, after the uh, what was the place called again? The Black Box. Aliwal. Aliwal Black Box. Mm. Uh, Rubin was like, yo, in his most. Uh, English accent ever, bro. It's like, yo. Mimic it, mimic it. I want to hear it. <laughs> yo, so, um, uh, meet, meet us outside. Meet us outside. Let me just, let me just uh, introduce you to get some guys. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, me being like, yo, sh- okay, cool. Let's go, let's go. You know? Uh, and because he was one of the judges, and I didn't know of him at all right. dude, before yeah, that. Right. I left the place, said hi to the homies, you know, everyone else. I went there, and it's like, it felt like a, you know, like the Crow Zero and like one gang or another gang came through. I don't know Japanese references. You have to bring it up to Rio. Oh, come on, you you haven't watched Crow Zero? Long you time know, ago, just once. You know the Crow Zero scene where it's like a gang attack, uh, from the end and this end they like came together. Oh, okay, okay, that and kind then, of like rival gang. Yeah, the rival setting, thing. Yeah. Then when they pause, they'll be like posing. <laughs> so they'll be like posing. <laughs> <laughs> so they yeah. they'll be like posing, waiting for you to come. And they were like that, bro. One of them was sitting down on the curb. One was like leaning back. Who's that? Car. Do you remember right. who's that? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it was Ruben, Shane, KZ. Oh, KZ. Yeah, Shut KZ. Uh, Pesot, Fai, which is Fai, and uh, Nat. So these guys and girl, lady, was at the one of the one of them was at a curb. One leaning at a chair. One lean, leaning at the wall. You know, with their arms crossed and shit like that. And I'm like, yo, these guys look menacing, man. What <laughs> with <hell> not, <laughs> with not. <laughs> and not was like the bubbly buttercup you know, over there, like <laughs> making sure there's color. This has a gift photo here. <laughs> but yeah, man. Oh, yeah. So I went and uh, he introduced me to everyone and uh, all of them amazing people, and they were like, yo, pull through to one of our starter days, man. I think you're dope. Pull through, just come through to the studio and I'm like okay cool so I think it was the following week or the week after that I came went to HQ for the first time at Geylang and it was amazing dude I was there and I should have known when I came they were like yo so after like a while being there right, they were like mm-hmm. yo take the mic bro go spit something I'm like nah man I'm not ready for that you know what I mean I can't do that <laughs> bro, please I was like no Take the mic. And I'm like, okay, cool. I just immediately just spit on a boom bap track. Oh, so this one you didn't want to take the mic. On stage at TV, <laughs> you took the mic. <laughs> That's different. Humble. That's different, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and uh, until now, I'm still with them. I love them. Left Mind Collective. Yeah. And uh, now we're still growing. It recently became a global entertainment collective. Wow. Yep. Yep. We also have uh, Left Mind members overseas. Mm. In Malaysia, in, in Johor. Eh? Yeah, yeah, Malaysia, Johor, in Korea, in Sarawak. And we're still expanding. And yeah, without Left Mind, especially, they, are, they were a crucial part of my growth as an artist, a creative. Mm. And I can't thank them enough. I got a feeling it's because that Left Mind, right, compared to the ROTB, is more consistent that you manage to meet them every week to. Actually, yeah. Yeah. So because, with because ROTB all have different schedule. So yeah. it's very hard for you guys to come up and to make an uh, appointment to make some songs and stuff. Yeah. Left Mind is every Saturday, bro. Friday or Saturday. HQ, bam, you can do your stuff there. Yeah, so with ROTB, right? Uh. We always, uh, so one of the pots that we had was at uh, Bobby's couch, but it's usually to hang. Yeah, and uh, with Left Mind, when you go to Left Mind HQ, there's always a mic and a PC there ready to go. The tin table. Yeah, and the tin table as well. Table, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like that. I mean, I, I think of it as ROTB are the people that, you know, you want to be around. You wanna, if you want to have a good time, you want right. to chill, yeah, right. be with them. Right. Then Left Mind is like just... Time to uh, get serious. It's something, yeah, a little bit more serious. Yeah. But on, there's, there are some days that we just go there, chill, hang. And those nights are the best. Because uh, usually what happens on those nights is that I'll end up opening a horror movie. Then Nut and some of the guys will be with us. And we'll just be laughing at the horror movie or just watching or maybe even just snoozing 15 minutes into the movie mm. you know just sleeping yeah and then there's like a coffee shop opposite yeah you just buy your pratas or your roti johns over there yeah. your there's teas over there three abcs bro three abcs damn yeah. 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 road bro just straight damn. up all around yeah it's crazy bro for real but it's like that i left mine it's been a cozy a cozy place mm. yeah i'm happy bro i'm really happy that like mm. this journey that you took the opportunities that you managed to meet these kind of people to grow your craft and stuff you know but okay, I think we before we wrap up a few things. I think I just uh, important things that like I want to know uh, that like 
do you think it's possible for yourself to do it full time as Damn. a creative you know because right now i think you haven't yeah. told the people yet what are you working right now oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. or oh, whether yeah. i'm working right now yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like uh, mm. i would love to do music full time any of you guys want to pick me up please left mind <laughs> <laughs> no 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 but for real i would love to do music full time music uh is a hobby and a passion that just grew on me you know i, I love it to death but being in singapore where it's not as strong the music industry isn't as strong I think it might be somewhat impossible to do it full time. So actually, I'm a freelancer. I'm doing uh, AV, sound AV, set up, tear down as well. But I'm trying to tap more into the SEO copywriting area. I can hook you up. Yeah, and uh, a lot of just basically anything that has to do with writing, because uh, with AV, right, freelance AV, you work unorthodox hours, man. It could be like from eight to say maybe four a.m. Yeah, I mean, this kind of production line, yeah. it's, it's always like. You cannot predict the hours, right? It's ad hoc, la, basically. Yeah. And yeah. It is, yeah. And I've been realizing, like, yo, my body is crashing because yeah. of yeah. the lack, so of young. lack of sleep and just, yeah. like, tired day in and day out. And it's, and on top of that, I still got to think, like, yo, what should I do for my music? Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And it's, it's a struggle uh, sometimes. Right. So, as of late, I was talking to I was talking to Omar and Mickey the other day at a gig. MHC guys? MHC guys, yeah. Uh, and I was telling them, like, Guys, I feel like I should utilize my uh, abilities more, my skill set more. So like things like writing, um, voice over, voice acting, anything like that, radio hosting even. Mm. And um, hey, you got a good voice, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> thank you. Go Fiverr. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried Fiverr, but yeah. for like a year, half a year, and nothing. No it's sales. Tough. No it's, sales. Yeah, nothing. it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. I tried as well. Mm. Yeah, man. So I'm trying to tap into more of the creative side. So I can utilize my writing not just for music, but for like article writing, SEO, copywriting, things like that, or my voice. Like if people want me to be on whatever it is, audio book, you, you want, know, you know, yeah, an audio book. Just yeah, I, I want to get into that area. So I'm not doing anything that's too far out of what I love doing. It's still in the same category ish the range. And yeah. Mm. I I can even practice it while I'm doing writing, right. like yep. you know, right. in front of a mic, recording a VO, VA, yeah. So it's like that, uh, yeah. Mm. I'm still working, guys. By the way, freelance man, don't go to fr- uh, go to freelance, but just think about it twice, uh, because you don't have CPF, bro. No, and it's also inconsistent. Uh, it is, yeah. I did that for like what three years. I mean, I I was just like, I'm just grateful that I I was doing okay. Mm-hmm. You know, but there are people who are freelancing and making a whole ass career out of it. But then there are also people who try really hard to get projects and they cannot, especially mm-hmm. in this economy right now. Um, but yeah, man, that that hustle that you have, I relate to it. But if you need like SEO and like copywriting gigs, I can hook you up. Oh but, yes, please. But I need you to learn what SEO is first. Definitely, right? what yeah. is SEO? Search engine optimization, bro. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but what's there's, there's, more, <laughs> there's more to SEO than that. Okay, but yes, you get the hang of it. Yes, you get the. the yeah. You get the man is, is like that. Uh. Funny yeah, enough, yeah. what you said is true. Because uh, when I ORD last year, right? I just ORD. Uh, I went straight into freelance AV. And I had like jobs every week. And it was enough to sustain. But as we entered 2023, January, until now, I had nothing. To yes. I mean, I did have yes. some. But it always clashed with something else. Yeah. That's the toughest thing. Like sometimes, like you know, you can go through two, three months and it's consistent, and then the fourth, fifth month, you just like nothing. Yeah. Right. Mm. And like you're you you've already gotten the money from the first three months to pay off the first three months, and then fourth and fifth comes around, you're just like, ah, oh, shit, where am I gonna get the money from? Yeah. You know, yeah. you just stuck squeezing two hundred, three hundred dollars in from your own pocket. Man, mm. I've been there, bro. It and sucks. Then, and then start using yeah. Grab Pay later and stuff. I'll yeah. be I'll be honest with you guys, right? I even until February, right? I still haven't paid my phone bill from last month. Dude, so the month for <laughs> this I o- month, I always squeeze like until they they cancel. Right, yeah, that's what. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> and then <laughs> I pay. <laughs> yeah. and start to like, oh, your <laughs> subscriptions <laughs> might be terminated. Yeah. You know? but yeah, like, but dude, like I I understand the pain that you have right now. Um, what? Okay, apart from SEO and copywriting, what else do you think you're able to do? Um, radio hosting. So voice, voice, anything voice related, uh, anything writing related. Things like that, I'm cool with any of that. Yeah. So, so, so creative writing, creative writing, yes. 
So if you guys need like creative writers, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know. I mean, I can definitely hook you up, but like, right. you want to tell them that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> creative writing, you know what I mean? Is that is that is that my one? Is that my one? No, it's is, is this that one. one? Is oh, that one? Yeah. yeah, creative writing, voice acting, voice <laughs> over. You know, I can if you guys need like short. Like the EA Sports, I could do that. You know, it could be like it's a, a King EA King. Sports. It's in the game. I could do that. <laughs> you guys, you guys need like a voice actors, right? You know, I right. could I could introduce your I could introduce a game in a in an ad. I could do like a in a world where anything can happen. Where anything can happen, <laughs> filled with monsters. Play elementals now. I could do that for you guys. Anything. You check yeah. out that demo we just did. You I, better hire right I'm, now, bro. You just did a whole ass demo, bro. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm not surprised. The next time I go on YouTube, he's gonna hear son's voice on all the evidence. I was like, damn you, son. I should have put you in this podcast. Bro, on a delivery ad, bro. Oh, hello, Use man. now. Delivery. We, we should receive some commission if he gets hired, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, son, deliver. Uh, <laughs> Mobile Legends. Uh, where's the like, can you imagine? Can you imagine you're just about to like hit the skip ad? And then you hear, I know this voice. <laughs> I, I've, I've heard this yeah, guy. Get, uh, <laughs> okay, like if sign some revenue, uh, some royalty money, uh, just play it. Uh, just gonna stay, son. That's the dream. Just gonna stay. That's the dream. Yo, I even did like a a Japanese voice. No acting. way. No, no, no. It's in, it was on TikTok. Mm. So you know on TikTok, right? They usually have the like challenge. a duet thing. Yeah, the duet, yeah, duet challenge thing. So I tried like this Japanese thing. Mm. And it bro- dude, if only I was in Japan, bro. Mm. Why? I want to do that, bro. That is cool. I'm a huge anime nerd. I you love anime. Yeah, he, I know. <laughs> he, I know. <laughs> he and Faris have been talking about anime. Dude, bro. Crazy. That voice acting part, right? If it's in Japan, in Japanese. I mean, I have things to work on, definitely. But if I could do something in Japanese, bro. Oof. You can become like the villain, you know, because of your voice. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, he can also play as like the supporting hero, the jacked up yeah. one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. He's already jacked up, bro. I mean, yeah, that's a point, yeah, right? So point. he fits. And he got deep voice as well. He got a golden <laughs> voice. <laughs> yeah, but that'd be cool. If not, yeah. I, I mean, back to back to what we were yeah. talking about, yeah. As uh, I'm still working. It, I would love to do it full-time, but right now it just seems impossible, yeah. Cool. It's Good okay, man. Bit. Yeah. So, so what do you, what do you see, uh, where do you see yourself? Um, in the next, I don't know, two, five years. Do you think son, the wordsmith will still be relevant? Yeah. Will be still in the scene, in the industry? Definitely. So, um, will I you do be doing pop? Hey, you never know. You never know. <laughs> I do have some pop songs in my archives. You do? But so I do. This definitely. one country song that he was singing eh, behind it. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Country song? Country song, no, no, no. I was, was recording. A, that was a cover. That was a cover. Oh, it's a cover. Yeah. Cover of what? Uh, yeah, then later we let you hear. Oh. Lock them doors, bro. Baby, lock them yes, doors. Yes, sir. And, turn them and then uh, Ruben was playing the beats, bro. The drums. Yeah. The kid, oh, bro, that's mad, man. That's because, cool, like, okay. Cool. I, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you guys. One of the things that my third mask is, okay? I love country like, music. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I remember at uh, Bukit Batu YTF, right? right? Me and Nick had an exchange on who can do like a oh, better We did, <laughs> the next we, did. we did have that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And had like the most redneck accent <laughs> ever, <laughs> dude. For real, bro. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. This is not real, bro. This is not real. God damn it, can you get them out of here, man? Uh, I can't no, believe no. this shit. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm sorry, I forgot your question again. What was your question? Again? <laughs> what, no. <laughs> what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> are you are you deep down a redneck? <laughs> That's not a question. Okay, I think it's oh wait, relevant, relevant, right. relevant. Yeah, relevant. relevant. Yeah, you're gonna do pop and stuff. <laughs> okay, last two questions. We're gonna. I think like forty minutes, right? Fifty minutes. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I had this talk with Shabil. I told him I wanted to stop music. Mm. Right, but you know said, Shabu, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, Shabu Samso, shout out to Billy Hoodie, and uh, he told me that you'll never stop doing music. So I took that into mind, had to let it marinate for a little bit, and um, I definitely don't think I'll be stopping music. Mm. I'll definitely be relevant. I hope. Uh, but you don't mind if I just uh, quickly plug in some stuff. Go ahead. Go ahead. So uh, I have an alter ego, bro. I have this song. With an alter ego, and you'll see a villain soon enough. You know, son, the wordsmith, right? But you don't know Jack the poet, bro. And this guy is against me. So watch out for Jack the poet. Jack the poet? Yes, sir. Also, I was just telling Rio before this, I might start like a 
podcast thing ish. Not really an cool. actually a podcast, cool. but it's more of like a telling stories. Right. It's gonna be all about receiving your letters that you cannot tell to other people. You know, you you see the yeah. the yeah. the consistent thing yeah. I'm I'm doing here. Yes, sir. Yeah, the the words that you cannot share with other people or letters that you cannot mm. send to other people because it's difficult. You can send it to me. I'll a- read it. Anonymous, out. basically. Yeah, anonymous. I'll put it up. Spotify, Apple Music soon. The first episode or the first chapter will be about me, but you'll never know who it is about, will you? <laughs> Jack the poet. Jack the poet. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> Jack oh, that's the cool, poet. Bro. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Crazy. Yeah. So, I like so, the idea. So anyone can submit messages. Is it? Anyone can submit messages anonymously. Yeah. Anonymously, or if you want to put your name, yes. Through through what? Uh, What's the channel that w- that they can submit it to? Um, soon I'll figure it out. But you can for a friend. NGL. <laughs> <laughs> But for now, you can uh, put it onto my Instagram, which is uh, San the Woodsmith. Well, that's not anonymous anymore. Is it? No, no, no. So as in the you, link you will be there. For now, for now, for, for now. now yeah. okay, okay. But soon I'll have a page up, an Instagram page up. Then you can just put it there, whatever you want. I'm gonna submit a long story. Then put Nick Soriano. <laughs> 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 then you think it's Nick, but it's not. It's Nick, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> or you can also send it to my email, which is uh, San the Satan at gmail dot com. San the what? How you spell that? San the Satan. Like six 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 Satan. Yeah, S A N T H E S A T A N at gmail dot com. Sun the Satan. What? Yeah, what? that's an old email. Let's not talk about it. Uh, yeah. And create a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I just like the name. <laughs> Sun the Satan. Professional, you. Yes, I'm sending my confession to Satan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> People go to church for like you know <laughs> confession. You <laughs> give to that, Satan. Do, do you have any underscores or dots in that email? No, no. So what if I read it as Sun the Satan? <laughs> <laughs> Sun <laughs> Tesa Tan at gmail.com I'm like, Who the hell is Tesa Tan? I know Tesa. It's just all temporary bro <laughs> Temporary yeah. okay. Okay. I'll yeah. have some Somewhere for you guys To just yeah, Just follow his whatever. Instagram yeah. Just all follow my Instagram guy. Yeah Please sure. But uh, yeah um, Well that's uh, That's all the time we have Yeah I want to One more One more oh, my bad, my one, one more, more. One, more, one, more, one more This is a fun yeah. challenge uh. Sun Tell me what's in your Spotify On repeat <laughs> I want to know uh, uh, of all the uh, artists you're interviewing. Uh. On repeat, top five. Okay, 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 top okay, five, okay. Top five. Top five on top repeat. Five. This is gonna be in the shorts, uh. okay. so be dope. All so right, right, all right. You okay. wanna know my on repeat so much, right? Huh? Sun the word Smith, top five on repeat. Spotify my or Apple Music? Uh Apple, Apple uh, sorry, Spotify. Spotify, top five. So wait, do we include my songs that just got released because I've been listening to <laughs> you know? Sure. Uh, I guess so. I, mean, I guess. Okay, oh, we, we do we do one go, with one without. Yeah, one with and one without. Okay, so with right, uh, first from first to fifth, okay, it's uh so fine, footprints by Boldy James and Kunz, ghetto reporter by Nas, Kota Ati by Hujan and stick around by Sun. Dope. Yeah, I think that's a good enough list. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a good list. enough list. That's a good yeah, list. We don't need to. We need. We need to do the one without. Okay, okay. <laughs> last one. What's your guilty pleasure music? Guilty pleasure music. You know the kind that country like country music. <laughs> not, but country music now we know another one. Uh. give me another. Like, give me the most feminine song you listen. <laughs> that kind of stuff, you know. The like, most like if me and Nick not around, right? You listen to this song. Oh no, the boys nah, out. Bro. I'm gonna listen to Ariana Grande. You know the kind of stuff. Nah, 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 nah. You don't uh, have. Uh, I do. I mean, I do listen to female artists, but if you're talking about like songs, if you guys are not around, right? I have one song that I've been playing oh, oh, okay. quite often. Actually, okay. a few songs that I've been playing quite okay. often. Okay. It is uh, DMB, drum and bass. Okay. Yeah. A By genre, who? a whole ass genre. Or By uh, who, dude? Is it a genre or is it a song? It's a it's a genre. Drum and bass is a genre. Drum and bass is a genre. Yeah. Oh, I and um, it's a song. <laughs> this is a song, right? That I really love, but I haven't been playing as of late because I've been playing my song. Shout out to my EP. Shout out to Sun. I love Sun. I'm Sun. But I love Sun. You know, because I've been playing my. <laughs> you're, you're paying yourself, <laughs> basically. Like, first thing, I'm gonna get paid, bro. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, if not that, right? Um, it, It's just house, any house music, uh, cool. drugs from Amsterdam. I, know I love it. One. Yeah. I know that one. And uh a lot of I've been listening to Hella DMB. A random any random DMB playlist, I just listen to them. But yeah, all, I also listen to a lot of uh a lot of <laughs> uh two other genres. Okay. For the, the, uh, three. Three altogether, but two other genres. First is the house uh, DMB, right? Secondly is a lot of uh, heavy metal. Dope. A lot of heavy metal. But I've also been listening to. I think this is the one where you you might be surprised. 
I've been listening to a lot of uh, anime songs. Ah, that's not a surprise. No? That's not yeah. a surprise. Okay, that is fine. That's that's not a surprise. Mine. Bro, Naruto's OP, the second one. <laughs> Hits me, which one? Which one? Bluebird. Blue, Bluebird. Yeah, it was Bluebird. Yeah. Oh, Bluebird. Bluebird. Bluebird is fine. And also, bro. Bluebird uh, is a taxi company in Indo. Damn. Yeah. Bluebird taxi. taxi bro. Na, na. <laughs> the okay, yeah. with the oh, I love it, bro. Mm. What? Why is it? The, after the, what? What is it? What are you saying just now? What was I saying? I don't know. After the Bluebird. Oh, it's just that. Also, Digimon's uh, oh, Digimon's intro. Yeah, he I love this. Digimon's intro. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. This is our true music, really. I love it. Sing all the way, sing all the way. This is our true now. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> oh, wait, is this the outro? Uh, you, you sing the outro, then Nick will say the outro. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, wait, the before we go to the outro, can I just say something? Go just to okay, last, last, yeah. last. So, uh, yeah. one last thing, right? Just to make sure that this is... um, This is some remembered... To you guys I'm an underground artist Yes But if you guys Want to know my dream That I told left mine And some of the ROTB boys Is Just so that This is I'm saying it Into action Speaking it into action Manifest it Say it Manifesting it I One day I'm going to win a Grammy BT Music Award Anything Watch me guys Conscious rapper Watch me man my stories will reach there, bro. Watch me, bro. Okay, that's it. Yeah, you can do that. Maybe bro. he can win fresh out the award soon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> should, I, should I sing again? Should I sing again? Yeah, sing it. Go. And that's all the time we have today on Views Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, you're with me, Nick Soriano and Yang Tao Fu. Continue singing, man. Oh, still? Yeah, continue singing. Should, sing. should I sing the country one? Sure, whatever, yeah. man. Baby, lock them doors and turn <laughs> and there, yeah. the lights down low. The Sun Awards Smith. Give it up, guys. This has been a Views Podcast by Young Tao Fu. See you guys in the next slow. one. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. Finish it, Nick. Cut. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's, it, that's a cut. <laughs>